explaining the soft white underbelly controversy, the drama of Mark Leiter and the Whitakers. The accusations against YouTuber Soft White Underbelly, led by documentary filmmaker Mark Rada, have sparked controversy surrounding the internet creator and some of his popular subjects, the Whitaker family. Writer is best known for his detective insights into a variety of foundational stories from across America. However, he became famous for a video about the Whitaker family in West Virginia. The Whitaker family is an incredibly poor, inbred family living in Odd, West Virginia, which Lida has documented in several videos. The family was a sponsor of a fundraiser by YouTube channel Soft White Underbelly, which recently came under fire. Soft White Underbelly appears in Whitaker family video. Soft White Underbelly, the YouTube channel that has been chronicling the now internet famous Whitaker family for several years, has been plagued by controversy due to another of his YouTubers on the popular video platform. It all started on March 3, 2024, with a video posted by popular YouTube creator Tyler Oliveira titled, We Investigated America's Poorest Areas. The 27-minute video shows Oliveira traveling through West Virginia and interacting with, among other things, the Whitaker family, who live in extreme poverty. Oliveira initially tried to contact Mark Leiter and Soft White Underbelly to get in touch with the Whitaker family. But the channel has an exclusive agreement with the Whitaker family for all content production. After receiving a reply, he revealed that he would not cooperate. YouTuber Soft White Underbelly has an exclusive agreement with the Whitaker family for all content production. We are also currently in discussions with a radio station for a television series. Nevertheless, Oliveira ventures further, meets a helper who helps her family, and sets off to meet the Whitaker family without Soft White Underbelly's help. While still with the family made famous by Rita and Soft White Underbelly, Oliveira did something similar with Rita and his YouTube channel. He cooked for the Whitaker family and provided them with valuable assistance. But while spending time with her family, Oliveira encountered some frightening information when matriarch Betty asked her about the money she received from Laida's fundraiser through her GoFundMe page too. In addition to filming videos with the Whitakers, Laida has been collecting donations for the Whitakers since 2022. The soft white underbelly creator has raised over $130,000 through two different GoFundMe pages with the goal of building a new home for an incredibly needy family. But when asked what was going to happen to the house, Betty Whitaker told Oliveira that he had no idea what was going on with the money and that she had heard it might run out. This led Oliveira to suggest that Lida and the soft white underbelly team did not intend to give the money to the family, but instead ran away with public donations. Although he never directly accused Rada of exploiting Whitaker for profit. He alluded to the idea heavily and steered his devoted fans towards Rada and the soft white underbelly. While he does so, he also plans to raise money for his family, and says he wants to combine his efforts with those of soft white underbelly to help his family. Mark Leiter responds to Whitaker family controversy. Tyler Oliveira's video accusing soft white underbelly and Mark Lida of stealing donations from the Whitaker family's GoFundMe page has racked up more than 1.5 million views in a week. And Lida has made public the accusations against him. Encouraged to respond. In a video that directly addressed the controversy, Ms. Lida accused Ms. Oliveria of stirring up controversy to gain views and misinformation about Ms. Lida's relationship with the Whitaker family. He said that he is spreading the word. According to Laida's explanation, the family felt so benefited by the funds raised for them that they used up the funds as soon as they received donations. The creators of Soft White Underbelly explain the existence of two different GoFundMe pages. And that Rada and his team will create two in 2023 to streamline the use of funds that were not set up in the original GoFundMe. I explained that I had set up a donation page for the eyes. However, it was believed that it was to build a new home for the family. With these two of his GoFundMe pages, total donations totaling over $130,000. Rita wanted to help the family build a new home, but as expressed in his video response, there was a big problem. The Whitakers were in constant contact with Lida and his team and were always putting the donations they raised to good use. Rita revealed that he received calls from his family almost every two weeks asking for money. They cut back on donations last year, spending more than $100,000 of it on what was considered an emergency. To ensure that Mr. Oliveira clears his name of the allegations leveled against him in his YouTube video. Mr. Lida even provided bank records of the transactions in which Whitaker's funds were transferred, and that Mr. Lida, the author of Soft White Underbelly, Mr. Rida even admitted that he had committed wrongdoing. He would impose a tax on all transactions and the Whitaker family would receive the full amount.
He even spoke directly to Betty Whitaker on camera. And she told viewers that he provided money for her family and that it was a mistake for her to be confused during Tyler Oliveira's video. Ta. Mr. Lida has since deactivated his GoFundMe page for the Whitaker family and publicly stated that he will no longer report on the family. Immediately after Mr. Laida's response, Mr. Oliveira posted another video in which he praised Soft White Underbelly for their honesty and for providing discrediting evidence. But they still did so after posting the first video.